Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Uh, this time we are going to take a look at the power supplies that are going to be powering the Megaloman project and uh, I choose these. Uh, these are uh, X server power supplies. Uh, right now it appears uh, to be a whole lot of them on the market and uh, I've managed to uh, grab a uh, 10 uh, then a lot of these and uh, uh, they were something like uh, 20 bucks uh, a piece which is an amazing price for such a powerful and well made power supply they uh, have uh, they have very amazing uh, efficiency 94% for 12 volt power supply is uh, is just great and uh, uh, this time I'm going to show you about uh, modifying them for purpose such as the Megaloman. Uh, at first we have to uh, solder a 330 ohm resistor to, um, to, to these pins. It's been uh, 33 and 36. So let's take a piece of This is to make the power supply boot and to start and give us power. So now the power supply should start. These legs. Alright, the power supply has started. And it's uh, giving us the 12 volts. Uh, but uh, the issue is that uh, uh, these power supplies are uh, their output ground is connected to the uh, uh, earth pin, earth pin, and then uh, what uh, that does, if you want to uh, connect them in series, then you uh, have the issue that you you uh, are shorting the power supply. So we have to modify them a bit more. Yes, we, we need to, as the, the term is uh, degrounding the power supply and what I'm do doing right now is the correct option, is the safe option. Take out the PCB and what I'm going to do uh, to uh, take my Dremel tool, this is a box tool, and uh, I'm going to uh, grind the copper from the part where it's uh, uh, where it's touching the metal chassis. Okay, that's the next part done. Uh, now we 
we are going to take this little cable and I'm going to dip it and the reason of this is uh, that uh, we still need a sum connection of the output to the uh, uh, to the protective earth in a case that uh, some static voltage would accumulate and it could uh, uh, blow out the insulation of the transformer or anything anything else so I am going to solder in a one mega ohm resistor. The reason I <coughs> I've chosen this uh, power supply is uh, because it's an amazing quality of power supply. The construction is very really interesting. Instead of output diodes, it has uh, MOSFETs for synchronous rectification. It has a really funky setup on the main transformer. It has uh, high power. It has a power factor correction. It's uh, the efficiency is is amazing. Now I'm going to uh, mount a little hole in the isolation, right here. screws back in this wire back. now I should uh, test it out the LED lights up we do have our 12 volts and now let's grab the chassis and measure the resistance and there are some two and a half megohms Last part I'm going to do is to is to modify the cover to allow me to set the voltage for on the outside. And I've already measured it. It's I have to mark point at uh, 91 and a half millimeters. And at thirty two millimeters, it should be right here.
right it lines up quite well but I'm going to make the hole a bit bigger with this completely awesome dentist uh, drill bits that I inherit, inherited from my father I don't think you can buy tools like this anymore <laughs> they are just great uh, they are completely fine with, uh, with steel and if you don't lose them <laughs> You can use them for a very long time, they never go down, no? never go down. Right, now the hole is lining up perfectly with the trim pot. And let's put the screws back. This power supply is now safely degrounded. This in nicely. Right. And also is now able to be set up without taking it apart. One last check. This is twelve volts. It's a very big resistance, so that's fine. All right, this is uh, <laughs> how to modify an, a server power supply for a mega Roman project. Thank you for watching and goodbye.